So our standard flooring system starts off with a four by six notched runner that is treated. We also then take a two by six floor joist and stick it inside the notch and toenail into that to keep it from flexing back and forth. Then we put our three quarter inch tongue and groove flooring on top of for added durability. In some other sheds I've seen that are built, they use a four by four unnotched runner. They'll put two by fours for the joists that are untreated along with five eighths plywood. So all of our standard framing starts with a bottom plate nailed to the flooring. Our framing is all 16 inch on centers and we have our corners are boxed in ready to receive any sort of finished product you want to put on the walls and we have a double top plate and what that does is it straightens the wall up and makes a sturdier wall with with two top with two top plates so all of our trusses are built in a jig and that jig ensures consistency throughout all the trusses and they're built first cut on this system and then we move it over to the jig over there and press them with steel truss gussets. So after the boards are cut, we bring them to this jig and we press them together with two gussets at each joint. Standard on our double wides, we use LVL that spans the length of the building. The LVL results in a open floor plan, so we have no post in the middle of the building. It also, what we do is we have one on each half that we bolt together on site. Our roof system starts off with rafter 16 inch on center. We use 7 16 inch decking under all of our roofing materials for extra stability. Then we put tar paper down for a moisture barrier. So our ranch style buildings come with a five inch overhang on the sides finished out. We put a we put a softening underneath the J channel and fascia trim. And on our gable ends, we do the same thing with a seven inch overhang. That, keeps the rain from running down the sides of the building and rotting your walls out. 